Can you see me? No, not yet. Now we can. You can't see my eyes though, can you? That's a bit weird. Um, fuck it. Let's continue. What's happening, guys? It's Jacob here. I'm back for the second update, second weekly update of this 30 day fat loss transformation that I'm currently on. I am happy to say I'm still on it. Uh, there have been a couple of days where, you know, I guess I've uh, fallen off the, the bandwagon, so to speak, but all you can do is, you know, accept that, go to sleep, wake up the next morning, and crack back into it. And that's exactly what's happened. So, I have some data here that I want to share with you. Data is what I love. I love analytics, I love statistics, I love data. When I'm going to do a transformation, when I'm, going to, when I'm going to commit to something like this that does take a lot of commitment, I want as much data to back me up and to keep myself accountable as possible. And so that's what we've got. So, the two things that I've been using to track my progress are progress pictures, which I'll show you at the end of this video, and my Fitbit. Now, I was using a third app, which is uh, MyFitnessPal. I have to be honest, I used it for the first week. I realized that with all the experience I've had, you know, with dieting, with counting calories, counting macros, I actually don't need to use it. So I know when I'm hungry, I know when I'm overeaten, and so I can pretty much eyeball what I'm doing. So as far as calories in, I couldn't exactly tell you, but I can tell you calories out. I can tell you how many calories I've been burning. So with that data, if I'm losing weight and I'm burning that amount of calories, I must be consuming less. And that's the way I see it. So day eight to day 14, was from Monday the 19th to Sunday the 26th of April. Uh, today we're on Tuesday the 28th. So how many calories am I burning per day and how am I going about burning those? Well, everybody burns a certain amount of calories per day, you know, being stagnant. Okay, that's just your metabolism, it's your body weight, your bodily functions, you're gonna burn a certain amount of calories. Now I probably burn about 2,000, maybe 2,200 per day if I just sat still doing nothing. Any piece of exercise on top of that is just gonna be a bonus including steps, including just walking, running, you know, basically anything that gets your heart rate accelerated, whether it be by one beat per minute or by 100 beats per minute, is going to cause your body to burn more calories. And so it's basically thermogenesis, right? So anyway, here's the data. Throughout the week, I did two weights workouts, which you'll see on this channel, and two runs. We also went for probably three extra walks as well, but the two runs were <clears throat> 10Ks each. So um, I'm actually training, you know, low key for a marathon. Um, I'm testing myself with these runs and I'm happy to say that I didn't stop on either of them. So throughout the week I did an arms workout, I did a chest workout and we did two 10 kilometer runs. If you are wondering, my times for the runs, the first one on Monday was 10.07 kilometers and the total time was one hour, nine minutes and 19 seconds. The second run was on Friday, it was 10.04 kilometers, and the total time was one hour, two minutes, and 26 seconds. Now within those runs, I wanted to challenge myself. You know, t sometimes when you don't want to go out for a run, you've just got to say, right, one foot in front of the other. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the house, I'm literally gonna put my, put my shoes on, put one foot in front of the other, and just jog. You don't have to go out at your top pace, just go out, basically, at a walking pace, it's just you are jogging. So you get your feet you get your feet moving. After maybe 500 meters, a couple of minutes, you assess what your, your heart rate's doing. You assess what your breathing's doing. And if you can speed it up, you do. So that's how I've started. I've started each of my runs really, really slowly and just slowly, slowly picked up my pace throughout it. Because the last thing I wanted to do was to go out too hard and, and have to stop. So what I'm happy to say is that in both runs, the last kilometer, the 10th K, I consciously tried to speed up and I was able to record my fastest kilometer of the run in the last K. So if you guys are looking you know, for, for motivation, if you guys are looking for, for small little things that you can do, just to give you a bit of a boost, or just you know, little things that you can, little goals that you can have, that is the kind of thing that you can you know, do. So that was the specific exercise that we did. I did go and play a bit of sport, but that's, you know, we won't include that. As far as steps go, okay. For the entire week, Monday to Sunday, we had 64,986 steps. Now, for, what, for whatever reason, my Fitbit app tracks it from Sunday to Saturday. So the first day of the week is actually a Sunday. So if we're talking about from Sunday to Saturday, my total steps was 64,000. 
986. Now that is an average of just over 9,000 per day. Um, on Thursday, I didn't actually wear it, so it only recorded 1,300 steps. Um, so, you know, I probably averaged just over 10,000 per day. Now, my best day as far as steps go was Monday. That was one of the days that I did a 10K run. We had a total of 15,705 steps. My worst day was Friday. My worst day of actually wearing it for the full day was Friday, 3,776 steps. As far as calories go, so we've got steps, but we want to know how many calories we burn. Now, the Fitbit is not going to be completely accurate, but you do enter in your details, and it is, you know, it, it, it measures your heart rate, so it is going to be the, the most accurate um, measure you're going to have as far as calories burnt. So, uh, we had a total calorie burn throughout the week from the, the Sunday to the Saturday, like I said, of 22,052 calories. That is an average of just over 3,100 per day. Uh, the best day was on Saturday, which is one of the days that we did a 10K run, and that was 3,934 calories. The worst day was the Friday, and that was 2,544 calories. So you can see the massive difference. You know, on a day that I'll do 3,500 steps, I only burn 2,500 calories. On a day that I do 15,000 steps, I burn nearly 4,000 calories. So it does make a big difference. And this, this data is, is what you can use to, to hold yourself accountable. Now, do I have any other data? Um, I do have one more piece of data, and that is sleep. So first thing I do when I wake up, it's quite cool, I look at my Fitbit app on my phone, and I see how I slept. Sleep's huge. Sleep's big for actually your metabolism, believe it or not, but it's also big for mood. So, you know, if I wake up and I've had a good sleep, um, I feel... I feel pretty good, I feel motivated. If I, if I wake up and I know I've had a bad sleep or I've gone to bed way, way too late, it's, it's just a bad way to start the day. You know, you're a bit sluggish, you're, kind of, you're kicking yourself because you went to bed so late. But in saying that, you, you really can't take this stuff too, too seriously. So as far as sleep goes, uh, once again, we're going from Sunday to Saturday, from the 19th to the 25th, and we've got an average of seven hours and 59 minutes. On average, you'd add another hour on top of that, and that is the total time you spent in bed. So recently, I've been spending an average of nine hours in bed, um, apparently nearly eight hours of sleep. And that is, that's, that's a quality sleep. I mean, that's more than enough for me. So there we go. That is a little bit of an update. So the last but not least piece of data that I'm using for this transformation is obviously progress pictures. Um, I took them yesterday. The lighting was, <clears throat> well, pretty shit, to be fair. Um, I'm kind of disappointed actually because I haven't been able to get the consistent lighting which is so important you know when you are taking progress pictures outside it's up to the angle of the Sun and the time of the day that you do it as to what uh, you know lighting you're gonna have so I've tried to keep it as consistent as possible I've done my best following this video you are gonna see a little a little video that I've been quite excited to put together of progress videos so the videos that I take the screenshots from I'm going to put them next to each other so we're going to have one on day one day eight and day 15 and I'm going to try and splice it together so that I'm doing the same poses at the same time so we can see if there's any difference yet I hope you guys enjoy that I'm going to have fun editing it that's what this is about it's about having fun it's about bringing content to my channel and it's about getting through this isolation man <laughs> with a sane mind, and I'm doing it. So guys, that is all the data. We are on to week number three, and I can't wait. So with that being said, from Christchurch, New Zealand, peace out. I swear I like your style, put you in Chanel cause it's just perfect for your smile. Girl, I swear for you, I run the world, I run the mile. The way you look at me, I think I'm going insane. Wow, yeah, swear to God I'm with it I don't see nobody in my lane, it's quite go get it Like me, wow Please don't be wasting my time with that business Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah I've been up and working till the morning, yeah, yeah. They've been sleeping now, I swear they storming, yeah, yeah. And I swear I'm cooking like a foreman, foreman. Uh, and my foreman jumping like it's Jordan on my way. Boom, boom, tell him I'm my lane. I've been praying, yeah, yeah. Gotta say this thing, I'm the same. I don't need another person telling me.